Hello and welcome to another Notch tutorial. This tutorial focuses on using the render layer node. Let's start with a simple Notch scene. We're going to start by adding some post process nodes to the scene. We're going to add a glow node and we're going to attach that to a render to layer node. If we connect the glow node to the main root node, it will show a glow throughout the whole scene. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a render layer node. Then we can control the post processes glow through this node. We will now isolate one of the objects using the render layer node. To do this, you must connect the render layer node to the main root node. We do the same for the object that we want to assign the post process glow to. We now have a glow on only the torus. If we click on the render layer node, we're able to modify the blending of the glow on the scene. If we set the blend to luminance as alpha, it gives us the result we're looking for. Another good option is to set the luminance to own depth buffer. This option gives the composition layer its own depth buffer, so not all the objects are affected by the glow, even though the objects are in the render layer. If we add another post process connected to the main route, it will not affect what's connected to the render layer. We can now add a second render layer to isolate the cube from the two post processes glow and pixelate. I'll fast forward this part of the video while I set it up. It's also important to understand node hierarchies. Nodes vertically aligned in the node graph are drawn before each other. You can see this as I move the render layer node up and down. More information can be found in the manual under node hierarchies. There are two light inputs on the render layer node, one to include lights and the other to exclude them. If we connect one of the two lights of the scene to the input excluding lights on the render layer with the cube, it will no longer be illuminated by light 2. We can now add a post process to the layer containing the cube. While I'll add the post process, I'll speed this part of the tutorial up. It is possible to share a post process between several render layers. Here we are using it to add glow for both render layers. We can now see how to use a render layer on a more complicated scene. This scene contains an extruded spline that admits particles. We can add a render layer by connecting it to the extruded spline. We'll now add a glow effect to the scene. The glow effect will now appear on the spline. Whilst I update some parameters, I'll speed this part of the tutorial up. We can also connect the particles to this render layer, either by adding them separately or in a group. We'll also add a render layer to have an effect on the clone spline. I'll import the render layer. I'll attach it to the particle source. I'll add a pixelate node and update the parameters on that. I'll then connect it up to the glow. And as you can see, this is the final sequence. Thank you for watching this Notch tutorial and we hope to see you in the next up and coming tutorial.